Welcome to Skybrush Studio for Blender. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create simple animated formations as part of your drone show. We already initialized the show with the takeoff procedure. We set the timeline to the last frame and add a new formation, which we will call rotating grid. We initialize our formation from the current position of the drones. We add the new formation to the end of the storyboard. Set up its starting frame and recalculate the transitions in the show. If we update the time markers, we can see our formation appearing in the timeline. We set the time to the initial position of our formation and start to add keyframes to our animation. In the formations collection, we have a new sub collection for the rotating grid. It contains empty meshes that are also visible in the 3D viewport. During our formation, the drone objects are constrained to move with these empties. So let's start a simple animation. For example, at this frame, we move the drones a bit with G and add a location keyframe with I. Then we go to another frame, rotate the drones along a vertical axis with R, move them around, and add another location keyframe with I. Then we go to the third position, rotate the drones around again, move them a bit, and add the last location keyframe. Let's recalculate all transitions. And the drones are already following our animation keyframes nicely. Finally, we add an automatic return to home formation. We set up the arrival time conveniently and recalculate all transitions once again. We also update the time markers from the storyboard. Let's also switch off the relationship line overlay and hide all the helper objects in the formations collection. Let's check out what we have created. Drones take off. They approach the rotating grid. Go over the animation we have created, rotate, and tilt. Let's get a better angle to see what's going on here. So finally, they morph back to their home positions with a smart transition without collisions. We are all set. In the next tutorial, we will show you how to import STL files as formations.